Hey guys, welcome back. We're gonna jump into episode four really quick before we before we jump in, man. Just want to say that um, I appreciate y'all. I really do. I appreciate y'all. So before we jump into this reaction, man, make sure if you have not hit that subscribe button yet, hit that subscribe button, man, because you know we have what four seasons to go of this anime so i you want to know when these videos are out okay i'm gonna start uploading at least maybe three or four episodes a week so and it's absolutely free the full reactions are free so if you want go watch the full reaction or you can watch the edited version here on youtube which i'm going to start doing um from episode three going forward so here we are with episode four before we jump in Hit that like button. I appreciate y'all, man. Let's go do this. Episode 4. Let's go. Jump higher. Move faster. You know what I'm saying? But in some ways, the reason why it probably won't, where I would say he's wrong, is that the setter is supposed to set the tone. It's kind of like, the setter is supposed to set the tone, but at the same time, you can't work against your opponents. You can't work within your opponents' weaknesses and expect them to get to gain that strength during the game. That's what makes it stupid what he's doing. You get what I'm saying? So it's kind of like in basketball, like if you are a passer, you can't, you, you know, it's better. People always praise LeBron James for always be a always being able to put the ball where the shooter wants the ball um to get the shot up quicker. You get what I'm saying like he pa he passes the ball in the pocket so the the person who's receiving the ball can just catch boom, shoot it. You know what I'm saying? So for him being a setter, it's kind of like he's in the same position. You got to play towards your teammates' strengths. You can't play towards their weaknesses because if they if they can't jump as high as you're putting the ball, if they can't move as fast to get to the ball, you got to slow things down. You got to play towards their strengths and not their weaknesses. You know what I'm saying? I don't think they should have gave up on him, but at the same time, you know what I'm saying? He is that guy. You are in the middle. You are the setter. You are the point guard. You are the setter. You have to set you have to set the tone. You can't set it in the wrong way. That's just not gonna be okay. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> I knew it. before don't get upset because i stopped the video okay okay i got stuff to say all right in any in any situation the way the way how i look at this right because i used to play volleyball right it's not an easy thing i'm pretty i'm i'm pretty tall myself you know what i'm saying like i'm not super tall i'm not a basketball player or anything but i i'm taller than the average dude right so him being that short it's gonna be hard for him to actually jump and actually hit the ball across the court it's gonna be hard unless he's approaching from the other direction but because he's approaching straight up to the net to hit the ball like that it's gonna be hard for him to switch directions and hitting it in the other direction which is it's it's not difficult for somebody who's taller 
but it's more difficult for somebody who is shorter. You get what I'm saying? So when he jumps, he's kind of feel, but he's got to learn how to cut the ball across the court and to avoid that block because when he comes on to, and this is just a 3v3, when you're going to um, play real volleyball, which I think is 6v6, if I'm not mistaken, is it 6v6 or 8? I think it's 8, right? I think it's 8 people on 8 for each team in in a real volleyball on a court game. I think if I'm not mistaken, I think it's I think it's 8 if I can remember correctly. But but yeah, at that point it gets even harder because sometimes three people are coming up to block you. Two pe two to three people are coming up to try to block that just in case you're trying to hit it across court. So you got to be able to have that power too to let your balls go through blocks. You get what I'm saying? You got to be able to faint. All of these other things that he's got to learn. So I'm looking forward to seeing them learn, do all of these different things because in a game like this, it's going to be hard for him to spike over this dude. It's going to be really hard for him to spike over him. So let's see how he overcome this, overcomes this. <laughs> Straight up. Straight up. Keep your eye on the prize. All right, so here here we go with the classic talent versus um, versus hard work. You get what I'm saying? It's a, it's a classic thing. It's a trope, I know. But as tropey as it is, it's as real as it comes. You know what I'm saying? Um, I believe Tsukishima is, you know what I'm saying? He don't think that somebody like Hinata should be playing volleyball you get what i'm saying because he's short he can jump yes but he still don't feel like he should be playing volleyball he, he don't believe that he believes that just because he's tall that's the only reason why he's playing volleyball is because he's tall and he's probably naturally good at it because he's tall you get what i'm saying so with 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 him it's kind of hard sometimes to really it's, it's not gonna be easy to relate to him but i think I think later on, maybe he might come to understand, you know, Hinata's feelings and Kageyama's feelings, you know what I'm saying, and stop being such a asshole because I don't think they're going to make him as a character remain being among people like Daichi and Tanaka and, and Hinata and Kageyama unless he's not going to stay on the team. But if he's going to be on the team, all that's the thing about teamwork and being being together and a part of a team man it rubs off on you bro no matter how you might you you know what i'm saying think that oh i'm gonna stand over here and be my own person you know what i'm saying like that teammate shit it rubs off on you unless you're just really really adamant and just end up probably leaving the team you know what i'm saying or all of this other stuff like it takes a lot a, a very egocentric egocentric person to really you know what i'm saying to, to for for teammate and the, the the spirit of camaraderie to not rub off on you like you, you gotta be the most stubborn person in the world man what 
Whoa. He's there before the ball? What the hell? Yo, that's crazy. He's jumping before the ball gets to him. I get what he's saying, but... How so? <laughs> See, he's telling the same thing I said earlier. Yeah, you gotta match with him. You can't. You gotta play to his abilities that he or the level that he's at right now. <laughs> That's one way to say it. <laughs> You'll just put it in front of you. Bro, what? They didn't even move. I don't even think they know what happened, bro. This shit happened so quick. I gotta see that again. What? He's there before he even... Look at this. He just... Bruh, that's ridiculous. That's like an unstoppable move. Oh, his eyes were closed. He... He basically just targeted him, bro. He's that's a sniper shot right there, bro. Yeah, he just sniped his hand with the ball, bro. Oh, 
Who trusts anybody 100%, bro? Switch. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> That's crazy, man. <laughs> So yeah, episodes three and four review here starting now. So it's this anime is very inspirational. A couple of times there, I almost teared up because I know what it's like to basically be in a position where people are telling you you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't do this. You'll never be able to do this. You're lazy. You're this. You're that. You're whatever. I've been there, man. I've been there when I know I've been trying to do my best. I've been doing these things. And yes, sometimes, you know, when I look back, I say, yeah, in this situation, I could have done better. I could have done these things. You get what I'm saying? In some situations, I was being lazy and all of this other stuff. But to look at a person and say, overall, they're lazy and they're good for nothing and all of this other stuff that I used to hear. You know what I'm saying? I still hear it from time to time from people who don't really know me. You get what I'm saying? Even from family, even, you know, because I don't let them know my business. You get what I'm saying? Like, they don't know my business. You know, I taught them, at, you know, after years of not talking to them and they think I'm in the same place, but I'm not. You know what I'm saying? But hard work, you know, versus talent. And if you have both, don't waste your talent, man. Don't waste your talent. So, talking about the, uh, this episode, I want to talk about episode four most of all, is this quick attack that they have. Um, all right. Basically, in real volleyball, that could never happen. And I'm going to tell you why this could never happen. If it does, if it does, if they could pull that off once or twice, it can't be a continuous stuff. So, I'm guessing this is just going to be like the anime element not realistically part of this anime because that quick attack is ridiculous because for him to jump before the ball even be there and for the setter to put it exactly where it needs to be for them for him to hit that as soon as he's hitting the ball the ball is connects and be right there that's next to impossible to do in real life because no matter how good you are and how talented you are you are going to miss passes as a setter you get what i'm saying this is not like basketball basketball is a little bit more controlled right basketball is a little bit more controlled um when it comes on to passes volleyball is a little bit more when it comes on to passes as in from the setter or from anybody else it's a little bit more or less out of control you can't hold the ball right you cannot hold the ball you can you, you only can touch the ball and, it, and, and basically the ball got to be in contact with your hand for less than a second. It's crazy. So it's not easy to do, to do that when you literally don't have, sometimes you don't have the, 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 the time you have to think about it and all of this other stuff, like to gauge it, to, to know, to see. It's just too much going on for a person 
to short of a, being a genius to be able to do that. You get what I'm saying? That's some next level stuff for you to even do in real life. I don't think that could be replicated. Maybe it could be, but not, I don't think it could be done in a competition. You know what I'm saying? Maybe just, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I just think, I think it's next to impossible. If somebody is pulling that off in real life, they're, they're geniuses. They're geniuses. No matter what you, no matter what you might think, they have to be geniuses. Pretty cool thing to see in the anime though. No doubt about it. It got me to, to even take a step back. I'm like, yo, that's crazy. And the animation was fluid. I loved it. It was amazing to see Hinata finally getting the spike. You know what I'm saying? But is Tsukishima out here giving effort though? I thought he didn't care. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I thought he didn't care, but he out here giving effort. He's like, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that was pretty cool to see him giving effort, even though he acts like he doesn't care. I think he's gonna stay on the team. You know, during the episode, I was saying I don't think I don't think you know what I'm saying. I th if he stays on the team, on the team you know that stuff is going to rub off on him the camaraderie the friendship the, all of this stuff that is you know you know that as much as they're friends they're rivals with Hinata and Kageyama right so I think they're getting closer and closer believing in each other and that's what's good you know what I'm saying most formidable ally I like that statement that statement is very cool I might just name my video that because that that was pretty cool to see them do that but anyways man that's all i have to say about it. this was pretty nice to see them really go forward and do something like this but this anime is really growing on me i like the vibes and the music too i'm loving the music as i said none of the osts are really sticking out to me yet where i can say um this is a fire ost but it's very heartwarming inspiring music that they're playing right now the osts that they are playing are pretty cool the ones that are cued during certain moments are pretty nice and i like the fact that these two characters are really they're really growing on me i like them you know what i'm saying so we'll see how things go in the next episode but in any ways man if you have not liked the video yet make sure you like it and for the comments section what i want what i want you guys to do is tell me when you were at when you were at the question is this when you were at this point in the anime pretty sure you've already watched it when you were at this point in the anime who was your favorite character at this point after watching four episodes my favorite character so far is not hinata and it's not kageyama my favorite character is daichi why because let me tell you guys but i want you guys to tell me in the comment section after four episodes who was your favorite character my favorite character is daichi because that man demands respect you get what i'm saying he's the boss he carries himself like a captain should and that's why he's my favorite character right now hinata and kageyama coming in very close i think they're tied for second for me and then tanaka in a close third okay so that's what i have to say i know it's a little bit unorthodox even though i don't really talk about it but i like the moments that he has you know the moments when he's telling tanaka let the man talk you know what i'm saying because this is their moment right now let him talk you know what i'm saying i get it tanaka is very he's a very tenacious kind of character that's like he wants to stand up for the little guy you know what i'm saying he's a good friend to have that friend who's always gonna be like you you trying to beat you trying you you talking shit to my friend do, do you want these hands do do you want these hands that's I, that's the type of friend you want to have you know what i'm saying tanaka so he's definitely up there in my book but anyways thank you guys so much for tuning in so make sure you let me know who is your favorite character after watching four episodes of this anime and of course man subscribe if you're new if you have not done that yet subscribe hit that notification bell so you know when more haiku is out this has been turbine reacts peace